Welcome to the eMedia tutorial that will give you a quick guide around finding resources in the site. When you search eMedia, you're searching a collection of over 20,000 educational resources. One thing that's important to remember is to make sure that you are logged in when you are searching eMedia. You'll see your name at the top right hand corner when you are logged in. If you are not logged in, you will only be able to see the resources that are available to the general public. This video tutorial will show you how to simply find and use resources. For example, I can start here by entering a search term in this box. You can enter additional subject areas or levels, or you can simply leave that blank and click search. At this view, you'll see the different search results that came back from your search terms. As you can see, there are 317 results, which may be a bit much to handle. On the left-hand side, I can filter out some of those resources and really get at what I'm trying to find. If I'm looking for a specific media format, maybe a video, I can add that filter here. And as I add these filters, you'll see your search results on the right change to reflect the filters that you've put in place. I could change the education level and really get at what I'm trying to find. To see more about the resource, I can click the title here. If I'd like to view the resource, the actual video, I click View, and it'll bring it up in a new frame. From here, I can play the video. The equator received the sun's rays more directly throughout the year. You can download the video right here, and it'll save the file to your computer. I can also save this resource so I can come back to it later by clicking on Save. I can save it to one of the folders I've created before, or I can create a new folder for it here. Now that resource has been saved to my folders. I could also save this to a group that I belong to. You can also leave comments or add a tag to help other educators find the resource as well. You can also share the resource or add it to a Google Classroom. I can go back to the search results to find additional resources. I can change the view so I can see a thumbnail view or just the metadata. This has been a review of how to find resources in eMedia. If you have additional questions, you can contact eMedia at uen.org.